Hi there, my name is Colton and I'm a financial advisor with WealthNest. And today I want to talk about something that is often overlooked and forgotten about, and that is 529 plans. These plans have changed a lot over the years and I often hear misconceptions about them. So today I want to clear some of those up and highlight the major benefits of these plans. Before I get into the benefits, what exactly is a 529 plan? Simply put, it's a tax advantaged savings account designed to help you save for future education costs. While they're often set up by parents or grandparents for their kids and grandkids, anyone can create a 529 plan for anybody else. Friends, cousins, aunts, uncles, there are no restrictions on who can open the account or who can be the beneficiary. Now let's talk about the big advantage, tax benefits. When you contribute to a 529 plan, your money grows tax deferred. This means you don't pay taxes on the earnings while the money is in the account. And when you withdraw the funds for qualified education expenses, those withdrawals are completely tax free. Think of it like a Roth IRA, but for education expenses. You put in after tax money, it grows without taxes, and you can take it out tax free as long as you're using it for qualified education expenses. Plus, in some states like Arizona, you can get a state tax deduction for up to $2,000 for single filers and $4,000 for married filing jointly. The second advantage is flexibility. 529 plans aren't just for college tuition. You can use them for K-12, certain apprenticeship programs, and even trade schools. So whether they want to go to college, learn a trade, or take a different educational path, a 529 plan can help cover those costs. And it's not just about tuition either. Qualified expenses include room and board, books, supplies, even computers. This means you can use the money for a wide range of necessary expenses. People will ask me, what if my child doesn't end up going to school or needing all of the funds? Not a problem. You can always change the beneficiary to another family member or even look at rolling the leftover funds into a Roth IRA. This gives them a head start on their retirement savings. The third advantage of a 529 plan is the level of control it offers. As the account holder, you have complete control over when and how much of the funds are used. You get to decide how the money is invested and can make adjustments whenever you see fit. This flexibility ensures that the account is tailored to meet your specific needs and circumstances. I hope this clears up some of the misconceptions about 529 plans and highlights why they are such a great tool for saving for education. If you have any questions or want to learn more, feel free to reach out. Thank you for watching.